Yo, what's good, world? It's your boy, the pro S who fly god, Stardust Yaku, Blunt Cianido, El Toro Negro, and of course, I am representing the almighty SOS Wrestling Talk. So if this is your first time checking us out, be sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Join the nation, join this wave, baby. So, last couple days, New Japan had a three-day shot. Day seven, day eight, day nine, right in a row. And I'm not going to hold y'all. I it, I kind of hate reviewing three shows consecutively like that. The most I will try to do is two. That's literally the most I'll try to do. I'll do two shows together, but doing three together, that seems a little tedious to me. So hopefully y'all can bear with me because what I'm about to do is just giving y'all a updated point standing of what we had. So uh, this morning, I actually give you kind, kind of kind of a brief so, uh, summary of the main event, Will Ospreay is finally able to defeat Kazuchika Okada cleanly, and he did it under 20 minutes, man. That's actually a feat that, it's a feat that not a lot of people has accomplished. I think Jay White's the only other guy to have done that. Uh, so that's pretty solid. I believe that, was it the previous night's main event? Was, uh, I believe Jeff Cobb is undefeated in the block, in his block right now. So that's something to be heralded. Tama Tonka gave David Finlay his first loss in G1 Climax, so that's something of note to talk about. We had an absolute banger of a match between Tomohiro Ishii and Eddie Kingston right here. We had, actually this morning, fucking, uh, I like the match between El Phantasmo and Kenta. And surprisingly, Yoda, not surprisingly Yoda Suji, but surprisingly Yoda Suji and Hikaleo's match was actually really good as well. So those are kind of some of the happenings. There was an upset. Shane Hayes actually defeated Tetsuya Naito. So that puts my G1 Climax pick in a little jeopardy right now. But I'm expecting to be able to turn it around and still pull out that block right now. But without any further ado, we might as well get into the point standings after today's shows. Because I'm like, uh, like I said, I don't want to be too tedious with the review and everything like that. So I might as well give an updated point standing in each block. So block A, we have Sonata with a record of 5-0, and 10 points. Kaito Kiyomiya has a record of 2-1-2, two, two, record of 6 points. Gabe Kidd, or Shota Amino, same thing, six points. Gabriel Kidd has a record of two, two, and one, equaling five points. Chase Owens is two and three, equaling four points. That's the same for Hikaleo, same record, two and three, four points. Yoda Suji, one, three, and one, three points. And Rina Rita, zero, three, and two, with two points right here in the block B. We have now, after this morning, lead in the block. Will Ospreay, record of 4-1, and one, 8 points. The same for the former leader of said block, Kazuchika Okada, record of 4-1, and one, 8 points. Taichi, 3-2, and two, with a record of, uh, oh, excuse me, with a record of 3-2, and two, sitting on 6 points. Kenta, Yoshihashi, Tangaloa, El Phantasmo, all respectively, with a records of 2-3, and three, totaling 4 points. And Great Okan, man, this is pretty surprising. Record of 1-4, and four, Equaling two points, man. Super surprising if you ask me. C block action, which I think that's going to be C block and D block are going to take place, I believe, Sunday. And I'll look at that card here coming up soon. David Finlay, record of three and one, sitting with six points. The same can be said for Evil, record of three and one, six points. Tama Tonga, same, three and one, six points. Although he might hold the tiebreaker over Finlay, but I believe Evil beat him. I could be wrong about that, but I think Evil did beat him. So Shingo Takaki, Eddie Kingston, two and two, totaling four points. Then we have Michael, Mikey Nichols, excuse me, Hanare, and Tomohiro Ishii, all with a record of one and three, equaling two points, of course. And that last, but definitely not least, the D block, Jeff Cobb, record of four and zero, totaling eight points. We got Zack Saber Jr., who actually took the L to Jeff Cobb a couple days ago, record of three and one, sitting at six points. Hiroki Goto. Tetsuya Naito, Shane Haste, and Hiroshi Tanahashi are all deadlocked with a record of two and two, totaling four points. Alice Coglin, record of one and three, two points. I said, yeah, yeah, I said that right. Well, Na Naito, Tanahashi, Haste, go to all have four points. I probably said it incorrectly. Alex Coglin has two points right now. And Toriano sitting on an 0 and 4 record with zero points. So, where do we go from here as far as these guys, man? Where we go? Where we, I know where we go. We're going to Sunday. So I might as well bring up Sunday's card and see what we are looking at right here. So bear with me. This Sunday, it's going to be an Achi. First match we're going to have, we got Hanari taking on David Finlay. I think that should be a rebound effort for David Finlay, if you ask me. D block action. Toriano taking on Jeff Cobb. Damn it, I got Toriano upsetting Jeff Cobb only because I need Jeff Cobb to lose. So Naito can win this block. <laughs> 
Match number three coming up, DC Black Action. Mikey Nichols taking on Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston's a champ, so I think he's going to get his win, his, his bearings back after that loss to Tomohiro Ishii. Tetsuya Naito taking on Alice Coughlin. What more needs to be said? Naito's getting a W right here. I don't really need to explain that one. Then we have Tomohiro Ishii taking on Evil. I would, I would, that was actually a toss-up. I could see Evil winning this match because they're trying to rebook Evil to look pretty strong. Or you can have Tomohiro Ishii go on a mini, you know, two wins in a row, almost trying to get a winning streak going. So that's kind of a hard pick if you ask me. Match number six, we got Stable on Stable Violence. TMDK takes on each other. The World Television Champion Zack Sabre Jr. takes on Shane Haste right here. I got ZSJ rebounding after that loss to Jeff Cobb. So getting two more points in his block. Then the penultimate match of the show, Tama Tonga taking on Shingo Takagi. I think Tama's going to win. I just got this weird feeling that Tama's going to win this match, man. I think this is just not crazy, but I just got that weird feeling. And then in the main event of this show, we got Hiroshi Tanahashi taking on Hiroki Goto. I got Tanahashi winning this match. I just don't see him losing to Hiroki Goto right now. And I think that kind of just rounds out the block where I needed to go. So I got Tanahashi defeating Hiroki Goto, getting two more points, man. So the next time we'll see you guys will be Sunday for New Japan G1 Climax. Action will be night number 10. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, we got some wrestling this weekend. Got some UFC this weekend. There's a lot of stuff going down, man. But just please be sure you tap in. Ride that wave, baby, because we here. So, signing off, man. Pro Wrestling Fly God, SOS Wrestle Talk. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.